can see my basic skirt pattern both back and front okay can you see it so we'll be adapting this basic skirt pattern to a panel skirt the very first thing we want to do is to extend this dart line down okay from that for both the back and the front okay as you can see so the next thing is to do our knee tightening look at our knee line so we'll be doing our knee tightening here so on my body the knee tightening because my hip is 40 inches the knee tightening would have been two inches this is a miniature so it's just exactly half of my body so i'll be using one inch so assuming it's my body i'll be using i'll be mentioning the measurements i'll be using on a full body not on a miniature so that you'll be following what I'm mentioning may not be exactly what I'm imputing. Since it's a miniature, I'll be imputing half of whatever I mentioned. Okay, so let's proceed. What I'll be doing here, I'll be doing my knee tightening by 2 inches. I'll be using 1.5 inches at the side. Then at the middle, that's where the dart leg is, I'll be using half an inch. Okay, so... Okay. Half an inch here. Okay. So that half an inch, I won't just put it on one side. I'll be dividing it into two. Okay. So that's it. So now I'll be connecting this to this and then down. So I've done that. I've connected from here to the hip and then I've taken it down to the end line. To the full length of the skirt I want to make. Okay, then on for on this part, just watch what I'll be doing. I'll be extending it to the hip line. This side too, the same way. Then this I can take it to as long as the end line. Okay. okay so i haven't done that i'll do exactly the same thing for the back but with a slight difference the difference there is instead of putting all this 1.5 inches by the side by at one side i'll be dividing it i'll put i'll impute 0.75 on one side and 0.75 on the center back so the side back and the center back We'll be having this division also okay so i'll quickly be doing that using my tape okay then i'll still do the same division i did for the front here okay so i'll connect now that's how I connected it earlier on. Okay. And now, I'll still be taking this down. Straight. Okay. And here is it. Can you see? So now what we are going to do, we are going to cut it out. Just watch me as he cuts this out. Okay, let's cut the front piece first. This is the front piece. important to know how to cut it out so that when you want to practice on your own it will be very easy okay so what i'm doing basically is i'm cutting out all the dots i imputed on this pattern okay I just hope you have seen exactly what i've done so now i will label this is the side front and this is the center front okay i keep it aside blend at home 
to the back and also cut out all the dots I imputed. Okay, I've not taken this one yet. I'm not taking this up too. Okay. Okay. I hope you can see. That's exactly what I did for the front. So I'm going to be cutting out all those points. So we'll take this again. Okay. Okay. So also for the back, we have gotten our center back CB and our side back. So next we'll be adding our girls. Okay. To so add our girls, we'll be doing it one pattern after the other. Let's start with the side front. So for the side front, we'll be attaching the go from the knee line. So it will just be like this. For a normal, a full grown woman, what you will do now is after stapling this together using our tape, you can just tape it together. Then we we'll measure from this point. Can you see? From the M line, okay, the side of the M line. From this point, you measure this way five inches and mark, and also from here five inches and mark. Remember, it's a miniature, so I'll be going with half of five inches, okay. So, five inches will actually give you that fullness, the desired fullness. Or you can go more than five inches it's actually a standard the five is actually a standard but you can go more than that if you so wish okay so i haven't gotten that i think um what i'll do i'll first of all tape it together so that it will stay while we work with it okay we have taped it together so we are taking a measurement again five inches from this point this way okay it needs to be accurate so we are taking our measurements again 5 inches this way we mark and 5 inches this way we mark what we'll do now i'm just going to connect it to the knee point like this just watch me okay it's very important to get this right okay. so now we cut it out And here is it our side front is ready remember you are cutting this in two the side front this will appear twice then for the center front 
remember you'll be cutting the center front on fold okay so when you are labeling always make sure you label cf on the actual center of the center front so that you know that this place is on fold okay so since it's on fold you are attaching the go only to one side okay and this is applicable only to the center front okay so to attach our drop let's see if this will be enough okay it's not long enough so with this i've also taped it together okay so we'll be measuring five inches from this side okay remember like i mentioned before whatever measurements i mention what i'm imputing is half of it since it's a miniature okay but in reality is what i mentioned that you will use so i've been putting five inches okay so now i'll connect to the knee point okay and we'll cut out Our center front is ready okay so remember like I mentioned we are cutting this on fold so this is how it will appear to appear twice here then one will still be this way our front is ready for our panel skirts so for the back you still do exactly the same thing the only difference is that the center back will also carry two goals like this okay to so carry two goals not just one because the center back there is going to be a zipper at the middle, so we are not cutting it on fold. So I'll quickly attach my gauze to the back bodies and show you. I've done the side back completely, as you can see. But for the center back, I want to show you something, how to attach a tail. Okay, that's what I'll be showing you. So after measuring the normal 5 inches by the side, by the sides like this, like this. So if you are attaching a tail at this point, you just draw out your tail. What you do, from the center back, the side that the zipper will be, okay? In this case, it is this way. So you go down, after measuring the 5 inches this way, you go down by as long as, as, long as you want. I think 5 inches is still okay. So in this case, I'll be going down by 5 inches to get my tail, okay? So what I'll do, I'll now connect this like this in no particular order you can just do it according to the shape you want the shape of the tail that you want okay i hope you can see what i'm doing okay so at this point this is what you'll be connecting to this knee line okay and here is it okay so that's it. That's our tail. As usual, we still connect this. I think uh, the pattern is just already in that form. So we'll be cutting out so you understand exactly what we just did. Cut out from here. Okay, the side back is carrying a tail and you are cutting this out twice, okay? Two times, so the back will be fuller. Mm -hmm. The center back, and this is the side back, okay? There is it. Mm -hmm. 